New video just into CNN. It's from the Iranian news agency, and it shows our American sailors um, being turned over to American authorities. These are the 10 uh, Navy sailors whose boat drifted into Iranian waters, supposedly illegal waters. The Iranians took them into custody and held them overnight for nearly a day. You can see the um, sailors sitting there, and you can see the Iranians, I would suppose, looking at these Americans' passports. One note about the video you're seeing there, and again, as you say, sourced to Iranian TV, that appears to be the moment of capture uh, when those sailors were there on their knees, as you see in the video, with their with their hands up or their hands behind their head. Uh, really, uh, not a pretty picture to see. I, I mean, I talked to a lot of guys in the military, and you can see from the expressions on those U.S. sailors' faces, they were not happy with the situation from the very beginning. As you know, Carol, administration officials saying that there was nothing hostile about this act, no hostile intentions here. They believe that it was merely a mechanical issue. The boat had an issue. The Iranians came and detained them because they were in Iranian waters by accident, it appears, not by intention. Uh, but I'll tell you, when you see sailors or soldiers with their hands behind their heads on their knees, it raises the question, uh, how were they taken? What were the circumstances under which they were taken? We don't know yet. I have asked if they were taken at gunpoint, but, but those images certainly uh, uncomfortable, I would say, to see. Well, Colonel Francona, we saw those weapons being laid out on, um, you know, on on the boat. Those, I assume, were from the American sailors. So, how exactly would such a thing go go down, generally speaking? Okay, what what happens uh, if you drift into somebody's territorial waters? Normally, you're looking for assistance. We're not at war with Iran. Uh, you normally expect other seamen to come out and render assistance. This is what happens when uh, they come into our waters. We, this happens more often than it is reported. Uh, you simply uh, greet, uh, see if you can render assistance, get them back into their own territorial waters. Uh, if they need medical assistance and navigational assistance, mechanical assistance, you do what you can on, on the high seas. Uh, what the Iranians did was a gross overreaction. Of course, this is the IRGC. Uh, they're way, they're uh, very aggressive. Uh, and they're at odds with the moderates who are running the country. So this was more of a power play between the Iranians uh, than it had to do with the Americans. But uh, Jim is absolutely right. Uh, there was no reason for the Iranians to put those uh, people on their knees with their hands behind their beds at gunpoint.